Most people default to a fixed rate when they look for a new mortgage, but I've got some situations where a fixed rate may not be the best thing. You wanna know what they are? Of course you do. Let's find out. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam, I'm an expert mortgage broker. Now today we're talking about fixed rates and when they're not such a good idea, they definitely have their place, but there's some examples of times where you might not wanna choose a fixed rate. So if you find today's video useful, as always, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next one. Okay, so what is a fixed rate then? A fixed rate kind of does what it says on the T and it's stable, set, fixed for a certain period of time. So your rate will not change for a given period of time. So your monthly payment also will not change. So for two, three, five years, your monthly payment will not change. Now, that is a really good thing if you wanna know exactly what your monthly payments are gonna be. Uh, if you want stability, security, then fixed rate is absolutely for you. However, fixed rates normally come, or pretty much always come, with a tie-in, so they have a penalty, so if you pay it off early, uh, if you're in a five-year fixed rate and you pay it off after two and a half years because you want to change mortgages or move or anything like that, um, then there's going to be a penalty to come away from your fixed rate. Let's think about the alternatives then. So uh, the first one is a, a, an SVR, as we call it, standard variable rate. Each lender has their own variable rate. Uh, it's the rate that you go on to after you're fixed. So if you don't do anything with your mortgage at all, you just let it lapse onto the lender's variable rate, uh, that's what it is. So the lender decides if it goes up, if it goes down, how much it is, they set their own rate. Usually fine, it's sort of loosely linked to the Bank of England, but it doesn't have to be, you know, they could put it up tomorrow if they want, or equally they could put it down if they want as well. So uh, they're very much in control of their own rate. It is usually higher than the equivalent fixed rate that you're gonna be on. So you normally have a fixed rate and then you go on to the variable rate and it is higher. So we don't normally want that. Most lenders as well, they don't tend to offer up their standard variable rate uh, at the start. You can't, with, there's probably some lenders where you can, but in the most part, you can't just choose your standard variable rate from the very, very start. The next alternative then is what we call a tracker. Now I'm gonna talk about base rate trackers, Bank of England base rate trackers. So they follow the Bank of England. Now the Bank of England has gone up a little bit recently or a little bit, a lot. Um, so tracker mortgages have, have followed the Bank of England. So if the Bank of England put their rate up half a percent, your mortgage then goes up half a percent as well. If the Bank of England comes back down again, then your mortgage does the same thing. So it always follows the Bank of England base rate. So it's a variable rate as well, it's gonna go up and down, but it has some advantages. So the first one is that, uh, again, this is now, this isn't every lender, but the first advantage uh, is that some lenders don't have a tie-in on their trackers, so there is no penalty. There's no tie-in period, there's no early repayment charge, so you can come away from it, pay it off, and there's nothing left to pay. Um, some lenders have a little like, admin fee, but you know, in basic terms, there's nothing left to pay to come away from that tracker mortgage. The other benefit is right now, at time of filming this, sort of, uh, you know, towards the end of November, um, there are some tracker rates, again, with no tie-in, that are a reasonable amount lower than the equivalent fixed rate. So you could get a tracker rate that's, uh, you know, a, a decent chunk lower than the fixed rate would be for your same mortgage with your same amount of deposit or equity and things. So uh, your tracker mortgage is gonna save you some money versus your fixed rate at the moment. And it's very important to say at the moment because, as I've just said, your variable rate can go up and down, your tracker rate can go up and down. So if the Bank of England goes up you know, 3% next month, then your mortgage will do the same thing. 3% is probably a bit of an exaggeration, but you get what I mean. So let's think about the situations then where that tracker may be useful. So the, the main one really is that flexibility. So if we need some flexibility, the big one there then is if we wanna move house. So if we wanna move house soon and your mortgage is ending, your fixed rate mortgage is ending, rather than going on to just the lender's variable rate, we can swap you to another lender that has a tracker with no tie-in and then you get the benefit of the nice low 
rate, but also no tyre. So rather than having to go on the lender's high variable rate just because you want the flexibility, we can move you to another lender that has that tracker. Now, when you then move, we may end up staying with that same lender, but we don't have to because we've got free choice. We can go absolutely anywhere we like. But the point is, for now, we've got ourselves that flexibility without having to pay loads and loads for it on that high variable rate. So that's a big one. That's the one where that's the biggest reason people stay on a tracker or move on to a tracker to get that flexibility for when they move. So if your rate is due in the next few months and you want to move, it's very hard, really hard, not impossible, to try and move on exactly the same day or you know, to the nearest few days that your fixed rate ends. You know, there's, there's a chain of people uh, when you're moving house, getting everyone to agree on a date and no one's going to do it just because your mortgage has ended, you know, uh, it might be, might be weeks or months later. So. Going onto that tracker gives you the flexibility without having to pay for it particularly. And the other thing we're seeing at the moment is if your remortgage is due soon in the next six months, then now's the time to start thinking about what we want. But rates are quite high at the moment and we don't know whether they're going to stay high at the moment. Again, time of filming. Uh, we've seen some fixed rates starting to just come back down again very, very slowly. And so that has kind of opened up the door to people not wanting to rush into a fixed rate but still needing to do something. So we've seen a couple of people lately go on to a tracker with no tie-in because uh, you know there's, there's trackers available with no fee and no tie-in, so it's a variable rate, um, and they can just see what happens then. So if fixed rates start looking like they're gonna go up again, we can just jump onto a fixed rate with no penalty. If fixed rates start to look like they're gonna come, come down gradually, which they are very, very, very slowly, but if they continue to just come down, you might wanna just bide your time a little bit on that tracker with no tie-in, so that in six months or a year, whenever it is, in a few months time, you can jump onto that fixed rate, uh, and it hasn't cost you anything to be on that tracker, but also you haven't had to sit on your lender's variable rate, because no one wants that, that's normally a lot higher. So it gives you that flexibility. Flexibility is the big one, that's the important one. If you don't need flexibility, and you wanna know what your payments are gonna be, then a fixed rate is, is the one for you. It's probably important to say that this isn't general advice for everyone, you know, everyone's uh, situation is very different. Uh, this is just information. Uh, to find out though what your uh, particular situation and what's best for you, uh, then you can book an appointment with us anytime you like. I'll pop a link to our website in the description uh, there's a link on there to book an appointment anytime. So if you want to know a little bit more about what's best for you, you can do that. Uh, in the meantime though, have a think about whether a tracker is right for you. If you want that flexibility, if you want to move or you're not sure what fixed rate mortgage you're going to do, there's like a stop gap in between if you want. Um, I hope that has been of some use. If it has, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. You won't miss the next one then. Uh, if not, I will see you on the next video very soon. Take care.